that mass flux. Rho u d rho u rho u is mass flux, and d x d rho u d x is how much mass flux changes within infinitesimal space d x. Right? Or you could write if you want minus d rho d t is equal to d rho u d x. That is conservation of mass. And because we have three unknowns, mathematically speaking, and we only have two equations, we cannot determine three unknowns, pressure, velocity, and density. We need one more. That has to come by considering the relation between pressure and the density. OK, the relation between pressure and density uh, is a very interesting subject. We can go back to our elementary school science. For instance, when we pressure certain vessel, there is a density change. OK, if we boil or if we put, if we put some heat, then there will be a density change as well as a pressure change. Pressure and pressure and density, the relation between pressure and density is no longer pressure and density has has no longer has a simple relation but is that has a thermodynamic relation. Right? If we boil or heat, we put the heat, there is a pressure change and a density change. In other words, when I speak out or when I excite this compressible fluid, there will be some thermodynamic status is changing. Maybe uh, if I shout just beside of you, then you can feel some heat over here. Right. Do you think that is possible? Yes, that is possible. Using that concept, there is a machine that generates heat using acoustic wave. Using resonance, acoustic resonance. That is possible. Everything is possible. Everything we, we imagine is possible. That's this matter of cost. So I could say, OK, the pressure change, the pressure change has two contribution. Because the, rela the, 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 the pressure and the density <coughs> is somehow related with the thermodynamic status, if that is isentropic process, in other words, S is constant, <laughs> S is entropy, Or the pressure change would be related with the change of entropy. OK? What, what it means by isentropic process? If it is isentropic, then it is reversible. What does it mean by reversible? Reversible means, for example, when I have a compressible fluid contained in a balloon, when I compress it and I let it go, then it must come back to the position where it should be. That is a reversible process. Okay? When I when I compress the air or in one dimension of duct, the air is compressed and then it should go back to the place where it should be. 
according to our common sense. Okay. So, change of entropy is negligible compared with the change of density. I mean, effect of, effect of entropy change is negligible compared with this. Okay. And this is the small pressure change and this, this is a small density change. Okay? And we found that the small change and the small density change is proportional to the square of speed of sound. Square of the speed of sound. For one dimensional string k, the speed of wave propagation in one dimensional string that was proportional to TL over low L. And for the bar, that is Young's modulus divided by rho, that's what we found. For acoustic wave, this is what we found. How do we find? That's a good question. This is, historically this was found experimentally. And then Newton attempted to derive this theoretically, assuming the gas is adiabatic process, followed adiabatic process, and what he got the speed of sound in in um, in a uh, normal temperature, which means 23 Celsius, and certain common humidity that should be about 380 something. That is completely wrong because he made a mistake assuming the gas as a as an adiabatic process. Actually, it is follows as an entropic process, and they use the gas law for the isentropic process. We can derive this, but I will not go the details to drive that relation. So now, we have this relation. So we have three relations. Now we can solve it. Solving this three relation is of course important, but more important thing is the physical meaning of these three physical parameters. Density, pressure, and velocity. Okay, so let's look at those things in some detail.